There is tremendous potential to leverage AI for the good of humanity. AI is here. AI is now. Together, we have the opportunity to define the vision of AI technologies and research. Excellencies, distinguished guests, welcome to the Global AI Summit. We are here to discuss AI now, next and never. I personally look forward to announcing several groundbreaking initiatives with our global partners to deliver on the promise of this summit, AI for the good of humanity. The opportunities are growing exponentially. AI need to be entrenched in new businesses from the start. SMEs must be ready to adopt. We need to innovate, but we need to figure out some of these hard problems and dangerous problems first. It's a great thing you're so enthusiastic because I think this technology is going to change everyone's life. The question is not, can we eventually recreate human intelligence in the future? The question is, why would we want to do that when we can create something that's different? A new huge revolution is coming. Don't be afraid, all will be good. But most often, the machine winds up working together with the person. Art as philosophy, imagining new social and moral constructions for this human-machine relationship. AI is able to do this about 45,000 times faster than what current weather forecasts can do. Is really developing the workforce of the future, and that needs to be collaborative. It gives me a pleasure to announce an agreement between the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia, represented by Sadaya, and uh, the ITU to uh, develop uh, a global AI readiness framework. She just released what's said to be the first album co-written and co-produced by artificial intelligence. Watch half asleep like a tape stuck on the Artificial intelligence is the new next general purpose technology that promises to transform the world of work in similarly profound and unpredictable ways. Now humanity is suffering. We need to help them and we have to use the best available AI solutions and data sets to address those problems. Saudi Arabia is also determined to boost research, development, and innovation outcomes. I take this opportunity to invite His Excellency to launch the Smartathon. Competitions focus on accelerating breakthrough technologies. Take advantage of this incredible opportunity you have here in Saudi Arabia to develop this new high-performance model for cities, dramatically lowering the CO2 emissions while simultaneously increasing the social and the economic performance of cities. The algorithms become increasingly uh, better and therefore you can continue to reduce um, e emissions. AI plays a central role in making sure that we make decisions that are right for our environment and for our society. Needed 
to be said, and congratulations, Riyadh, for it being called the Riyadh AI De Declaration. It is with great pride and pleasure I announce that Saudi Arabia is joining the World Bank's Digital Development Partnership, the DDP. It is an honor and delight to welcome the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to the Digital Development Partnership, and I'm pleased to sign the agreement that commit us together. Welcome to day three. The moment I landed at the airport, as a matter of fact, one of the first things I saw when I landed at the airport, saying welcome to Riyadh, the new home of artificial intelligence. It is an honor to be here with you today talking about the future of robotics. AI, I think, is the, the most promising way that we can actually unleash the power of data across all these different industries. It is truly a brilliant achievement to empower women to pursue careers in AI and increase their participation to create a gender-inclusive world for generations to come. Assume that you can you build an AI solution that will allow us to get there. Don't be afraid by the years of experience. Reach out to people and always be curious. I can't think of a better way to end this panel. I thank you all for your very gracious time in listening to us. I can wave hello to my new friends here in Saudi Arabia. I would like to close with a reminder. It is easy to blame others for things that didn't go well in our history. But it is us, and only us to blame, if you do not think and act together to shape and secure a sustainable, bright future for ourselves and for the generations to come.